Hello guys and welcome to another FU Money. Today I would like to speak a bit about uh, what happened yesterday um, and the decline we have been experiencing in the market. So let me take you directly to screen share and let me show you guys this tweet here. So this is the tweet by FX Edge. Uh, hedge um, US Treasury to charge several financial institutions for money laundering using cryptocurrencies sources say so I was uh, watching um, Nicholas Merton uh, data dash channel one of the most honest and um, incredible guys out there one of the first um, one of the first guys I started to follow back in the beginning of 2017 and he was mentioning the real reasons why um, we had this re big retracement yesterday people have been talking about uh, you know the FUD because of the Bitcoin mining in China the blackout this is complete uh, FUD this is complete FUD I, I can't believe how some people just believe in stuff that um, has absolutely no um, foundation or any kind of credible sources. So this guy here posted this tweet and you guys can see that uh, by my time this was at 3.42 a.m. in the morning on April 18th and let me take you guys to the chart. This is the candle. This candle here is the candle that started at 3 a.m. and closed at 4 a.m. exactly at the same time as that tweet came out. So this is the candle that started everything. So people started, you know, we were having a small of a retracement here. And then exactly when that tweet comes out, this candle happens. And this candle goes, this is the hourly chart. It goes from 59,000 to 51,500. So guys, as uh, I was watching several sources, one of the most credible sources I have is Nicholas Merton and the Data Dash channel. This guy is amazing. He is not uh, in any way dishonest or anything like that. I've been watching him from since 2017, as I said already. Uh, now, I can't believe that some people look at a tweet like this and they don't find strange that the U.S. Treasury to charge several financial institutions. The U.S. Treasury doesn't even have the jurisdiction to charge financial institutions. The, the, as Nicholas said, this is for the DOG, the Department of, of Justice, to... Uh, process that kind of case when when uh, financial institutions uh, do any money laundering or stuff like that so this is for the Department of Justice and this tweet exactly before the candle went down like eight thousand dollars and people believe this with absolutely no foundation no sources no names nothing and this starts a chain reaction liquidating all the longs and doing this to the price action so please just uh, you know stop all the all the things you're saying about uh, this and this uh, happened because of that and because of that it's not true guys this was fud this was a tweet uh, a stupid tweet with absolutely no credibility whatsoever even any person with the minimum knowledge about the legal system of the United States knows that the Department uh, of Treasury doesn't uh, just go after any companies because of money laundering. This is the Department of Justice and people believe in everything they read on Twitter and because of that a chain reaction started liquidating all the longs. Even I was talking about this on episode 27 of the FU money uh, saying that the technicals already show that we are having some kind of uh, volume decline and that probably we would have uh, uh, a chain reaction like this in the future a very volatile 
uh, day and because of one tweet everything started to crumble and you know it's 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 crazy how some people believe in everything they hear um, let me just show you the tweet that Nicholas Merton wrote about this. Eight billion dollars liquidated, one million traders liquidated, losing their entire underlying position. So this is what happens when a lot of people are over leveraged. Uh, a lot of people don't know what they are doing in leverage trading. A lot of people use uh, too many X's for their leverage positions. And of course, this has nothing to do with the blackout in China about the mining and all those crazy stories that I've been hearing since yesterday. So guys, please, uh, this is complete nonsense. I, I, I don't believe in, in, you know, the first thing I, I do is try to confirm the sources of any uh, real um, news that comes out. Uh, let me just go back here to the tweet. So it's complete FUD and people go for it. So Willy Wu was saying that uh, regarding this big crash that because of the one day drop in mining hash rate, the largest one day drop in mining hash rate since 2017, uh, the power outage in, in Xinjiang, which powers a significant amount of the BTC mining network, wasn't known before the BTC price crash. Um, 9,000 Bitcoins uh, was sent into Binance, read that as sell-off of those coins. Okay, I agree with the cascade of automatic sell-offs in a chain reaction. Um, I just don't agree that this all started because of the blackout in China. I believe that this started because, you know, some FUD was introduced into the market and as you can see, let me just just to close this topic this tweet was sent at 3 42 a.m on the april 18th and if you check the candle on the hourly chart that matches exactly the time period when this tweet was sent we had a crash of almost eight thousand dollars in one hour so do you guys believe that this was uh, due to a blackout in china with the bitcoin mining network I don't. I believe that this is FUD being introduced into the market uh, by some people with interests, different interests in liquidating all the leveraged positions out there. So guys, just open your eyes, try to confirm all the sources that you hear from. Don't go, uh, don't go along with FUD like this. You know, this is completely nuts. So. And this is not the time of any emergency, as I've been watching in a lot of channels. Uh, emergency, Bitcoin is going to do this, Bitcoin is going to do that. As you guys know, and also Nicholas Merton is just like me, I don't shield any leveraged um, uh, exchanges where people can lose all their money. Uh, those exchanges are not providing a good service for crypto. Of course, if for some sophisticated traders, that's uh, that's a tool that allows them to make more money in a shorter period of time. But the big majority of people end up losing money. That's not good. These leveraged uh, exchanges are taking advantage of all the people that just got into the markets. They don't know how to trade leverage. People that trade crypto markets with more than 3x leverage um, are already asking to lose all their money. So guys, I don't shield those, those, you don't see, you don't see my channel with uh, sign up for $200 bonus. So sign up now for $200 bonus. Uh, if you use this referral link and um, I don't do that. I don't do that because I, I don't agree with people shilling all those exchanges and uh, sending um, not experienced traders to their death and to lose all their money. So that's why I am a bit angry about all the FUD that was created yesterday. This is the reason why people that don't have a lot of experience should not use leverage trading. Uh, anything above 3x will allow candles like this to liquidate all the positions you have so please guys be careful don't use leverage trading if you are not experienced uh, sometimes you know bitcoin has candles that go 
like 20% in a day. So if you are just just think like this, if you are using 5x leverage, if Bitcoin goes up 20%, you double your money. If Bitcoin goes down 20%, you lose all your money. Because you are using 5x, only 5x. So 20% down, you lose your entire position, you are liquidated. Of course, if it goes up, well, you can double your money. But what's the percentage of people that, you know, trade on leveraged positions and actually make money? 5%. 5% of traders make money using leveraged positions. This is for uh, people with some, you know, experience uh, in the markets already. So don't don't go for you know two hundred dollars bonus five hundred dollars bonus and just register today and get your money and you can trade with five hundred dollars free yeah you will trade the five hundred dollars and you will lose them you will lose the five hundred dollars to the exchange and to the guys that are promoting this so don't don't go for that don't go for that this is a an advice i'm i'm a bit angry so i'm sorry for if if i look angry today but i'm a bit angry at people doing this, shilling those exchanges, promoting this kind of move in the market, launching the, the FUD, uh, you know, this is completely nuts. And then people come back to the, to the, to the space in, in, on, on YouTube and saying emergency, emergency video, emergency this, emergency that, and taking showers and re recording videos uh, in the shower uh, while saying emergency this and emergency that. That's all crap. That's all crap. Please, guys, don't do that. Just trade spot market. Just uh, you know, ride the wave. No one gets rich in in one week. That's completely stupid. If if uh, you know that what these guys are doing, and so I don't agree with that. You will never see that on my channel. I will never shield any leverage trading exchange. Um, nothing like that. And and okay, that's that's okay for me. So let me just quickly go to the charts as usual. Let me just tell you also that I didn't do anything uh, during this market crash. So I didn't sell or buy any positions. I just remained quiet and see the development of the situation. Okay, so let's go to the price to time model. As I've been saying a few days uh, for a few days already, I believe that we are losing a bit of momentum on that exponential rise we had since the beginning of the year and we are still below the the curved line the exponential curved line we had the we had a red week here but really distant from the 20 period moving average and we are now starting a new week on the green i hope that this week can go to the upside continue this rise a bit and let's see what happens but according to the price to time model i am still bullish i don't see any bearish uh, signs of the market reversing uh, you know already that my understanding of the market tells me that only when you have a weekly close below the 20 period moving average that should be your first sign of a bearish market so guys uh, keep that in mind there's no emergency whatsoever we have been through many 20 percent retracements already so don't take that as uh, uh, any kind of emergency or bearish reversal in the markets so far so good the price to time model keeps in line with what we have said for a long time let's see what's happening on the mri and let me uh, go to the weekly chart let me show you guys that this week from the exact top the all-time high and to the bottom of yesterday which we almost recovered half of it already this was a 20 percent drop we had a lot of them in the past already we even had a bigger one here in the week of the 22nd of february this year where we dropped more than 20 percent however the market recovered again and we went back up and everything was still in line with the price to time model and all the models out there that say that we are going to rise a bit more before a top is reached okay so that is done let me just check the four hour and see how we are doing in the shorter time frame we are still inside the triangle the price action uh, was trying to break the downside of this triangle here 
However, it was stopped. Here it is, the Pro Indicators Framework. As you guys can see, this was a textbook uh, retracement. We went from the resistance context back to the support context. Uh, context. The price fell all the way down to the bottom of the support context and the price held there. The trending channel, of course, did this re big reversal to the downside and we are now trying to uh, go back um, go back to the same levels as before and of course with some retracements in the way but i'm expecting that we reverse the price around the 51000 and we are now going back up as the context shows we started a new week with the box a bit higher than the previous one it's not easy for you to guys to see but we started a new week here and the context also rose a bit so this shows that everything is as expected normal and no emergencies or whatsoever anything like that is happening so except for the fud of yesterday and all the you know stupid news out there and and stuff like that i believe in technicals the technicals tell me that this retracement was inside the expected parameters as you guys can see it's still inside the context channel and nothing really strange happens we didn't close any weekly candles below the 20 moving 20 period moving average so of course everything is normal okay guys so this is it um so as i said in the beginning of this video um Nicholas Merton with the Data Dash channel, me, and also, of course, a lot more people agree on this. This tweet um, started a chain reaction in li liquidations of the long positions that were uh, over leveraged and overextended already to the upside. Um, some some people were interested in those liquidations almost. 8 billion or around 8 billion dollars were liquidated 1 million people 1 million traders lost all the underlying positions they had those long positions they were liquidated and this is because of people being attracted to leverage uh, exchanges where they are attracted to lose all their money because they are not sophisticated they are not experienced traders and uh, people continue to use the space to attract those traders, those recent uh, traders, the people that are just arriving in the space with bonuses, $500 bonus, $200 bonus, and, and they are making money out of that. And I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I was doing that to someone. That's why you will never see any shilling about leverage trading or exchanges in my channel. So guys, don't worry, there are still no signs of a bear market. There are no signs of a top here. Uh, we are losing momentum, that's true, but I'm not expecting any kind of emergencies or crazy stuff um, to happen. Okay, so with that, I will leave you. Um, please be careful out there don't don't trade um when you don't have the experience to do it in leverage exchange exchanges um and i see you we i will see you all on my next one bye bye